Good evening, hello, good morning, good afternoon, wherever you are watching from, welcome and come on in. I know it's not quite New Year just yet. I have a Scottish mother, so I'm not allowed to wish you a happy New Year unless I say until it comes or when it comes. Um, but if you're anything like me, you've probably been thinking ahead about what you want to learn in 2023, what crochet techniques you want to master, and potentially even bought some of the yarn you're going to be using this year too. So today, I am going to be sharing with you some exciting details about a new event, or not a new event, a returning event, where you're going to be able to get your hands on some pretty amazing crochet patterns that are going to encourage you to keep on learning and keep trying different techniques as well. I have to check my notes because I have no memory. I'm still in holiday mode. Did you have a good holiday period? Are you still on holiday from work? Have you already gone back to normality? What is going on with you? Are you at home? I've already got Dawn telling me she's from Republic Washington. Wow. Um, welcome, Dawn. Wonderful to have you. I am myself still at home. Um, I haven't gone back to work. I'm back to work tomorrow. That's going to be the end of my holiday period. I've kind of eased myself back into some of my work. But this is like a really important thing for me to find out about what you want to learn in the coming year. So today we are going to be talking about some of the crochet techniques that are going to be included or featured in the crochet, no, <laughs> in the New Year's Resolution blog hop. Now, this is actually the third year that it's running and there is a slight twist on its normal formation. But before we go any further, of course, welcome to Cozy Rosy Crochet. If we haven't met before, my name is Fiona. I am the hands and designer behind Cozy Rosy UK and I create and design patterns that will encourage you to keep on learning and make the most of the crochet skills that you have while you increase your knowledge all at the same time. So, Shall we start with a bit of a sneak peek or a full on flash, should we say, on the first pattern that I'm going to be releasing of 2023. Now, I'm super excited to be sharing this with you. This kind of feedback feeds back to one of the techniques that I mentioned earlier on in 2022 that I never really got around to making the most of for you. <clears throat> so are you ready for this? Oh, we've got someone from Norfolk. Oh, I love Norfolk, really love it. It's my favorite holiday place in the UK and M Minneapolis, which I struggle to say because there's a lot of letters in it. So hello to both of you. Now, this is a clutch bag that uses the filet crochet technique. As you can see, it is a fully lined bag. It has, I used metal fasteners and I lined it with my brand new Christmas present to myself. I purchased a sewing machine from work and started using it for the first time properly. It's not perfect, so I'm gonna cover that corner. Um, <laughs> so it went a little bit wonky. Um, this is my first design for 2023, and it is gonna be all about the filet crochet pattern. Filet crochet technique, can't talk this evening, should have done this earlier. Oh, thank you very much, Ontario. Oh, Ooh, we're specifically in Ontario. Um, I love Canada, but I've only ever been to Toronto, so I'm not really sure if I'm allowed to say that I love Canada with having only visited one place. Um, so, <coughs> excuse me, what I'm most excited about about the New Year's Resolution Block Hop is that there are going to, as I've already mentioned, 31 different crochet patterns, including the Hearts to Hold Clutch, which is the name of that bag. Now, you're going to be able to get hold of a free copy of that pattern on the 1st of January. It's going to be free to download via a passcode on my website. Now, all the um, patterns that are going to be featured are going to be available for 24 hours to download free of charge, courtesy of those beautiful designers that are being so generous with us. And there are an absolute multitude of techniques that are going to be covered. So before I share with you what's going to be featured, I would love to know if you've already worked out some of the techniques that you would like to learn in the coming year. Perhaps you want to get your head around. I know someone's in the Facebook group. Hi to all of those that are watching. Um, someone in the Facebook group has already mentioned that they'd really like to learn mosaic crochet. And I have a few recommendations for them. It's not something that I specialize in. I know how to do it. I have done it. And I'll leave it there. <laughs> it's not my favorite technique. Um, it's, a interesting, it's an interesting way of doing color work that I 
might not have the patience for. I say that now, I'll probably fall in love with it if I do a different design, I don't know. So let me know if there is a technique on your list for 2023. I'm hoping, of course, it is filet crochet so that you can make this beautiful bag. Um, but if you haven't done filet crochet before, I have a video tutorial coming out on the 1st of January to support you to learn how to read a filet crochet chart. I've already got some of the details on my website, but this is a full on detailed showcase really going into depth about how to read a filet crochet chart so you can do that with confidence. So someone said that they really would love to learn corner to corner and of course I have a recommendation for that. There is already a tutorial right on this YouTube channel for corner to corner and one of the designs that I'm featuring I have three patterns in this event and one of them is to learn a corner to corner crochet technique using a different stitch. One of my favorite designs, it's never been given away for free. It's currently a premium pattern, um, but it's gonna be filmed and it's gonna be ready for you to follow to learn how to use the corner to corner technique and the granny stitch. I love the way it turns out and I know you're gonna love it as well. So I'll come back to that one. <laughs> so some of the other techniques that are gonna be featured, we have of course the fillet technique with the hearts to hold bag, We've also got another bag featuring in the event that's going to show us how to work braided bag handles, which I'm quite excited to learn myself. It's not a skill that I know how to do. We've also got, and I know this is becoming increasingly popular, this crochet technique, and that's Tunisian. I don't remember how the Americans say it, so apologies, it's, you say it slightly differently. Um, Tunisian, I think you say. The Tunisian crochet is, if you're not aware of what Tunisian crochet is, in a very short nutshell, you work your stitches onto your hook and just like knitting you then work back all the way through them so it's called you work in one direction and then pull the hook all the way through a little bit more detail than that but this tunisian is actually going to be working tunisian crochet in the round so that's quite exciting as well um now a stitch that i've not done myself is going to be a featured as well which is the celtic weave so this is using um, various stitches to create interlocking stitches and it, the effect is absolutely stunning and it's used a lot in textured blankets and cabling it's a form of cabling and it really is very very beautiful now I'm really excited to have this pattern on when I saw what the designer had uploaded for me to share for them I was super super excited because it's something that I've always wanted to include in my designs. I just haven't really been brave enough yet. I'm hoping to include some of it in one of my crochet fashion designs, but we shall talk about that in a moment. And this is beaded crochet. So working with beads in your crochet as you make it. So not sewing beads on at the end, you're literally crocheting with beads. And I thought, well, I was just so pleased to see that pattern included. And <laughs> here's a big word for you, hyperbolic crochet. Now. I'm not going to give away what it is. I know that I've got some references to it on my website already, and I love the effect of hyperbolic crochet. So if you are aware of it, it's um, essentially it's using multiple stitches to create a ripple effect in like a, um, a wavy fabric in your design. And it really is very, very pretty. And there are some designs that use hyperbolic crochet to their advantage. Um, if you've ever seen any of those wind spinners, they use hyperbolic crochet. So we've got a hyperbolic crochet pattern that's featuring in the event as well. Um, I've already mentioned that I'm going to be offering a corner to corner granny stitch um, pattern. But there is also going to be a traditional corner to corner pattern included as well, which will give you the basics of how to do a rectangle and edge off. Your increase blocks and your decrease blocks, depending on how you learn how to do it. So yeah, I cannot wait to share all of those different techniques. And that's not even half of the different techniques. There's lots of post stitches, which I know lots of you like now. Um, there's post stitches, there's, what else have I seen? Just so many different things. Look, there's a trellis stitch. Uh, one of the patterns actually allows us to use those basic stitches to really show them off because we forget that sometimes those basic stitches look absolutely beautiful and that pattern is certainly gonna allow us to showcase that. Just reading my notes, making sure I've told you everything. If you need to, or no, what I should encourage you to do, should I say, is head on over to the event page. I think it's already linked in the description box so that you can sign up to receive a daily reminder for all of the patterns that are being featured. So each day you'll receive a, 
a little email to remind you to go and download your pattern because the coupon codes are only valid for 24 hours. So you literally only have 24 hours to grab your free copy of each of the patterns that are featured. And they're all only featured for 24 hours. That was the big tick that I needed to make sure I said. Now, something else that I feel is really important for me to say as I'm coming to the end of 2022 is, of course, a huge thank you for, to you for being in the cozy community, for making it what it is, for taking part in all the events and, you know, making me feel very happy. In case you weren't aware, 2022 has been, um, you know, a little bit of a challenge for me. It's, I had grand plans for this year. I really did. And one of them came to fruition, which just made my heart sore. Um, and it's probably where the larger part of our community has come from, which is, of course, the hodgepodge blanket. That has been a design that's been in my on my to-do list literally since I created Cozy Rosy UK as a way of getting and encouraging people to learn different crochet stitches. And we did it. We got it out there in um, August this year. It was supposed to be out in May, but in February, my mum had a fall. She broke her hip. I had to go and stay with them while she was recuperating. Um, in April, I lost my dog, Rosie, who is the namesake of this channel. Um, and then in August, I had an operation. I donated my kidney. So it's been kind of like a constant, not quite enough time to get everything done this year. But I'm not only super proud of myself, I'm super proud for the thousands of people that took part in the crochet along to get their hodgepodge blankets made. I still haven't shared all those beautiful photos that you kindly gave me of your blankets. And I promise I will do. <laughs> it's on top of my list for one of the first jobs for 2023 is to really highlight all of your hard work. So a huge thank you for helping me do what I love. My passion for crochet is still growing, which fascinates me, let alone everyone around me. And I really love the opportunity to share as much as I can with you as well. So I know what my favorite project that I made in 2022 was, but I would really like to know what you would like, what your favorite project was of 2022. I know we've still got a couple of days left, so maybe you haven't quite woven in all of those ends, but what was your favorite project that you made this year? Oh, thanks Dawn. Yeah, it was quite a year, but you know, they happen and you know, people have had a lot worse years than me, but I wouldn't have got through it without my crochet. You know, it's one of those things. One of the reasons I really love crochet is that it does give you that time out to refocus and refresh. So in my newsletter that I sent out on Tuesday, I shared with you what my most popular patterns were of 2023. And I have had a hunt for my teapot cozy and I can't find that one. I think it's downstairs on a teapot, um, which is probably why I can't find it. It's not in my finished projects. So I've grabbed the... The top pattern, of course, was the hodgepodge blanket. Again, that's downstairs on the sofa. So this is a joy of the crochet things. We use them, don't we? Um, the second pattern was the Honey and Crumpets Teapot Cozy, which was actually released in 2021. And as it's such a beautiful, simple pattern that it is really good for beginners. It's a great introductory pattern. And it has been very, very popular this year, which I'm very pleased about because it's one of my absolute favorites. Now, the other pattern I do have next to me, which I found quite a surprise, um, is, now I've got to remember what this pattern is called. I think it's the Trinity Plant Hanger because of the triangle shapes in it, although they look more like diamonds. Um, and it, this is, it looks like macrame, but it is actually um, crocheted, of course. And it uses a couple of macrame rings, one in the base. You can see that. There's one in the base in there that you work around and then one as the hanging loop. And this has been one of the most popular videos on my channel and one of the most popular and best-selling patterns on my Etsy shop as well, which is it really surprised me. I mean, I love it. I was super pleased with that. Another one of my favorites is behind me. Can I do it? Yes. This is the Blackberry Stitch teapot cozy or the blackberry teapot cozy which featured in happily hooked magazine originally um it was featured as uh, in the pa oh, the color of the year so every year there is a, a pan pantone panatone no panatone is food the color people what are they called i can't remember now um but they release a color of the year and this year's color was very peri so 
And the reason I love that teapot cozy so much is I use the most expensive yarn I've ever used on a small project. The, um, the Malabrigo in, I think that their color is actually called very Perry or very close or Perry. Um, it's 100% merino and it's quite a luxury wool to use with a teapot cozy, but it's not something that you wash very often. So I thought well, actually it's quite perfect for that project. And I absolutely love that design. It's so textured, so soft because of the yarn that I used. You can work it up in quite standard acrylic if you want to and still have a great effect. I've done it in acrylic. Um, I did a dark purple version as well. So it was looked like blackberries. And I just absolutely love that as a pattern. It, again, a simple teapot cozy that keeps everything warm. And I just loved the texture and the color and the yarn I got to use with that as well. I mean, I chose it, you know, but <laughs> still. And although there have been a number of challenges, I've had some great releases, if that makes sense. So not every pattern is success, success you might believe. Um, but there have been some really successful patterns for me this year. And it's always nerve wracking when you put a brand new pattern out. There's always that thought of, God, what if people like don't like it? And what if they don't want to make it? But actually, the hodgepodge blanket was... Well, I loved it. I loved it from the minute I started it, but the finished effect of all the different colored squares and all the different techniques that were used in it really created the most wonderful blanket. If I could find it, I'm sure it must be downstairs. I've got a different blanket behind me. I have various blankets. So this is the Chevron blanket. I think this released April time, maybe June this year. Again, there's a full tutorial for that on the channel as well. Um, but in total, there were 36 new crochet patterns released by Cozy Rosie UK. And if I add in every single square <laughs> video that was released, it takes us up to nearly 70 patterns this year. It's way, way more than I wanted to do, but at the same time, I managed to get that big pattern out, which was the hodgepodge blanket. So grateful for how well received it was. I'm really proud that I had um, seven different patterns that were featured exclusively in Happily Hooked magazine. It's a huge, accolade to me to be associated with such a huge support to the crochet community. Happily Hooked magazine, if you're not aware of them, they are a kind of magazine subscription. It's an online magazine and every month they release the most unique collection of patterns. You won't get bored with the selection that they release and I'm really excited to say that in 2023 I already have a few patterns that are banked with them. The first one comes out on the 1st of January. Not allowed to share that quite yet. And the tester photos from them are absolutely stunning. I wish, yeah, I just, I'm really proud of that design as well. I made that kind of October, September, October time and absolutely love it. So that's coming out on the 1st of January as well. But so, yeah, I've kind of <laughs> looking ahead to 2023. For me, I'm going to be relaxing a little bit <laughs> in the fact that I'm going to go with the flow a little bit more after the challenges that I've had in 2022. I'd like to think that I'm going slowly into 2023 and I'm really not. As many of you already know, I've got um, Crochet Fashion Week in February. And if you're not aware of Crochet Fashion Week, I'm surprised because I've been talking about it an awful lot. Um, the Crochet Fashion Week is being hosted in Atlanta in Georgia in the Creamery Studios. And it's being hosted by the Crochet Boss um, she's the CEO of the event and it's a huge like kind of collaboration event where they're going to be showcasing designers from around the world and I am one of those featured designers. It also means that I'm going to get to meet some people that I've been chatting to online and working with online for years and now I'm going to get to meet um, them in person. I'm really excited to meet people in real life. It feels like this year hasn't quite been normal for me but because I work with so many different designers and we're all across the world much like our own community here and it's just going to be so nice to get to meet people in real life again so at the moment i have i can't tell you how many project projects are in progress i've sat here if you watched any of the vlogmas that i failed to complete in, <laughs> earlier this month um, I showcased the back of one of the designs and the front panels are now finished. It just needs to be blocked. I'm pointing over there because that's where it's sitting and I can't wait to showcase that design with you. It's stunning, seriously stunning. I'm absolutely in love with it. Um, so I'm showcasing six different designs in Crochet Fashion Week. Of those six looks that will be featured on the runway, there are a number of brand new patterns. Now, 
if any of you that are watching are in the full bloom membership um where you pay a monthly subscription or an annual subscription to get access to all of my printable pdfs i have some exciting news for those members of the full bloom because you're going to be getting some early access on my um, crochet fashion week designs the first one's going to be going in for you on the 1st of january and as soon as they're ready they're going to be in the full bloom membership for you if you wanted to find out more about the full bloom membership just head straight to the website and click on the memberships in the tabs and you'll find out more about how to sign up and how to subscribe for that for that access of all 130 something patterns all of them right there for you ready when you are to print and to make so we've had the highs of 2022 we've had the lows of 2022 I'm so excited for 2023. I'm so excited to be kicking off the year once again for the third year in a row with the New Year's resolution blog hop. It is slightly different from previous years. Traditionally, we've used patterns that would allow you to complete your New Year's resolutions. But then I figured most of the people who are here in the community are looking to learn more about their crochet. And actually, after months of making for everybody else, making those Christmas presents and those other gifts that you've made for people, now's the time for us to take at least one month to focus on our own crochet so we can make something for ourselves, learn a new technique and have some fun while we're doing it. So, that seemed like a lot to go through, didn't it? It's been a long time since I've gone live. So it's really quite exciting for me, as always, to chat to you guys. But I am, if you're watching on Catch Up, if you're watching live, continue and comment. Let me know what you're looking to learn. If you haven't already, don't forget to go and sign up for the daily emails so you can receive a reminder right in your email inbox to go and grab your pattern. And of course, if you sign up for the daily reminders, you're going to get all the news that comes from Cozy Rosie UK as well. I'm so excited for Sunday to come. Today is Thursday, in case you weren't aware. Today is Thursday, so I'm back to work tomorrow. And then on Sunday, the New Year's Resolution blog hop kicks off. I can't wait to showcase the hearts to hold clutch bag for you all to try. Oh, by the way, if you're worried about the sewing of the lining, don't be. You can make a crochet lining and just slip stitch them together. Um, I just wanted to use my new sewing machine because... Why wouldn't I? Um, <laughs> I won't share my crochet skills with you. Trust me, they're terrible. But, you know, it's something else to learn. I'm hoping that you're excited about all these patterns that you're going to get your hands on. And I am excited to see you in the Facebook group very shortly to tell me what it is you want to learn. Because I'm so keen on making sure. Because we have, I know what I've got planned for 2023. And even though it's a little bit more relaxed than it was, than it was going to be, there are a couple of projects or let's just say the word I've got two crochet alongs already penciled in for us this year one is similar to the hodgepodge blanket in the fact that it's going to use squares but if I get it done in time and get it tested and ready for you in March there is also going to be the first garment crochet along as well so it's going to be using some chunky yarn to create a really nice garment that's going to see you through the rest of spring and be ready for you in fall as well so once again, and as always, thank you for being a part of the Cozy community. I'm in, so proud to have you as a part of it. I'm going to see you in the next video. Don't forget to let me know what it is you're looking to learn, and I will catch up with you soon.